so welcome students so in the previous class we had just got introduced to the table of contents in this particular tutorial we are going to learn how to professionally use the table of contents features and it is a uh, very interesting because it saves a lot of time for you to create your index okay so just uh, to you know make things a bit faster what i've done is i've typed some of the contents so this is a document that i have prepared and uh, there are a few things that you should understand this is my book that's the title and uh, over here i'm going to have my index now this is unit one and this is the same index that i have typed from the book so this is the unit one syllabus and uh, unit one is the digital documentation and inside that we have the session one that is styles in document now digital document it belongs to a style that is heading one as you can see it belongs to a style that is heading one and this is very very important when we work with table of contents because these headings play a very important role so this particular heading that is unit one belongs to heading one style and if i click over here it belongs to heading two so this belongs to heading one and this to heading two inside this we have the introduction what are styles then working with styles and creating new styles and these you know the subheadings belongs to the style that is a uh, quotations okay and uh, that is session one and then we have session two now as session one belongs to the style that is heading two even this belongs to heading two the moment i bring the cursor out there okay you can check that it is heading two over here it shows okay so the moment i bring my cursor over here it shows that it belongs to heading one okay so if you want to see the uh, the styles that that particular you know uh, the contents that belong to then we have session three that is this creating templates even this belongs to the style that is heading two and similarly for session four that is table of content belongs to the style that is heading two now why I, am i telling you this because as i said these headings they you know play a very important role when you are working with the table of contents now if i just go over here and if i want my index page over here all i need to do is click on insert and then there is an option called as table of contents and index and in then we have the option inside that that is table of contents index or bibliography just click on that and then we are going to have a window this is the window that is going to appear in front of you do not do anything else other than the title if you want to change the title you can go ahead and change the title i'm going to keep the title as it is i'm not going to change anything and simply i will click ok the moment i click ok we have a index page in front of us now this is a index page which is not really that exciting it doesn't really look good because it is just showing the main contents that is it is not showing the complete index in fact what it is showing is unit one then digital documentation and then all the four sessions that it is showing but it is not showing about the subcategories that is introduction what are styles and i want that even this should be shown in the index now before going ahead i hope you're understanding what is what exactly we are trying to do this is a book that i am typing okay so i gave a title to the book and then this was my first unit that is digital documentation under that we have this session one that is styles in document and then under introduction i'm going to type my entire paragraph similarly i'm going to do the same thing for what are styles and then the paragraph 
like you open the book the first page in the book is the index page and then once you go to that particular index to that particular page number you will find the contents so i'm going to basically have my contents over here right now okay i don't have any contents this is just an example that i'm showing you so i'm telling you this okay so my contents are going to be here under introduction what are styles working with styles the main contents and this is just an index page that i'm going to generate okay now the index that we had wasn't that good because if you see that unit one belongs to heading one and the session one belongs to heading two as i said these headings they play a very important role when you are generating your table of contents so if you really i click on introduction i bring my cursor onto that and this introduction and what are styles and rest of the things actually belongs to the style that is quotations and that is a problem okay so i purposely actually kept this just to prove you that this headings play a very important role so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose this okay and from here i'm there are so many headings are given okay like heading one two three four five and six and ten so i'm going to go for the third heading double click onto that and that particular style is going to get applied to that particular selection and what i can do is i can just decrease the size of this okay and the same thing i'm going to do it for the rest of uh, the the subheadings so i'm going to go select then click on heading 3 and decrease the size even if you decrease the size the style remains the same it still belongs to the style that is heading 3 okay so choose this then go to heading 3 double click and decrease the size and for the last one i'm going to do the same thing that is heading 3 and decrease the size okay so this is how the document we have till now and now let us go ahead and generate the table of contents now if i click on insert go to table of contents and index and choose the first option that is table of contents index or bibliography and then we are going to have a window do not do anything other than just changing the title click ok the moment you click ok and now we have a much better index right because you can see that we have unit one that is digital documentation then we have session one that is styles and document and then we have that sub style sub headings i mean to say that is or sub categories that is introduction what are styles working with styles and creating new styles okay similarly we have till session four so this is how the index is now looking like okay and uh, if you really observe at the right hand side these are certain numbers that is one two and the rest of just the digital document documentation is number one and the rest of the things it is showing as number two these are the page numbers now why we have one out here and the two for the rest of them is because digital documentation this is actually on page one you can see this is on page one and the rest of the contents are on page two and that is the reason why it is showing as two out here okay so if you have huge contents out here so obviously you're going to have around pages if you're typing a book you will have around pages 200 300 400 pages so wherever your content is it is going to show that page number out here okay so this is a table of contents and um, this is pretty nice but it is still not up to the mark now let us make it more professional let us give this table of content a more professional look and how i can do that is that i have to do one thing is select this okay select this and one thing that we need to do that we need to create a list that is from here okay if i click over here do not directly click on to that okay there is a down arrow click on down arrow and then there is an option called as more numbering okay choose that and now 
you can see that uh, level it is showing is one it shouldn't show one just a minute let me just check that okay looks good click on the down arrow go for numbering and now you can see that it is showing the level as three now why it is showing three out here is because it is showing three out here because this is heading three so this is actually level three this is heading two and this is heading one okay so there is a level that has formed okay so if i really choose this and then i want to make this as a list click on that down arrow go for more numbering and by default it will show you three it is three in fact and then go to outline and choose this category that is numeric with all sub levels click ok the moment i select that you can see that this entire document in fact has got converted into a list if you come to the first heading that is heading one you can see that's number one okay then we have the heading two and that is 1.1 that because this is one so this is 1.1 the subcategory under this again we have one more category that is 1.1 so 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 and the same you can see now this is a second session so this is 1.1 so this became 1.2 and then we have 1.2.1 2 3 and 4 for the session 3 it is 1.3 and for the session 4 it is 1.4 and you can see it's 1.4.1 two, three, and four. So this is a level of list that we actually generated and now what will we do is we are going to go ahead and delete all that just a minute okay or else what you can do just don't do anything click give a right click give a right click okay on the table of content and there is an option called as update index okay the moment you click on update index it is going to show you all the changes that you made out here okay so now you can see this is this is a much much better table of content this looks much better right so why this is session is this is e out here okay and then give a right click again update and now you can okay again there is a spelling mistake so i'm going to make this as this one okay and this was a capital s okay so right click and then update the index and you can see the changes out here okay so now you can see that's unit one that is number one and the session one is 1.1 then the subcategory is 1.1.1 1 .1, 2 3 4 then this is session 2 is 1.2 session 3 is 1.3 and session 4 is 1.4 so this is how now this is a much better looking index okay and this is the background is gray but do not worry about that because once we generate the pdf file of this uh, it will not show you okay then what we can do is uh, okay i'll do one thing i will just copy this and till here and go to the next page and i will paste it okay and then i'll come to this is unit one this is unit actually two and this i'll make it as maybe we have spreadsheet next coming up so we have spreadsheet out here and the moment i have pasted it you can see that the list has maintained its categories and subcategories that is if you go to the top this is unit one is one and now unit two is 2 and the session 1 that is 2.1 and then the subcategories are 2.1.1 1.2 and so on you can see that changes has taken place <coughs> now to reflect this into my table of contents what I'm going to do is give a right click and click on update index and you can see that you need to it is showing in the index okay and now it is showing that it is in page number four if you go over here it shows page number four we are on to the page number four actually this is four of four this is page number four 
so this is how you can create your table of contents okay uh, we can also have another subcategories also i'll just show you how you can do that is uh, let me have a subcategory this is introduction and under that introduction i am going to have what are styles working with styles creating new styles though this does not make sense but just to show you how it is going to work like so okay what i'm going to do is to have this as a subcategory i'm going to choose this three of them and then i'm going to select the style that is heading four okay heading four and the moment i choose heading four you can see that introduction is 1.1.1 and then under that we have this categories that is 1.1.1.1 2 and 3 so this is now level four basically okay this is level four so let me just go to my table of contents and click update index and now you can see that change out here so there are you know these are like level four out here for session one but for session two it is just the subcategories that we have okay but over here we have introduction and then introduction has a subcategory so this is how you can you know create the levels and now this is a much much better looking table of contents and one more thing that i want to show you is give a you know uh, that is give a right click and go to edit index okay edit index and uh, then go to entries now what are entries entries are the same thing like uh, this is unit one and then these are like all the entries under the unit one okay and i want that you know what i'm going to do is go to e okay that is entry out here and there is a gap over here just click on th that particular gap and then click on hyperlink the moment you click on hyperlink uh, it is going to get reordered but do not worry now you you have clicked before e now you have to click after e and again click on hyperlink okay and then click ok now what is this going to do is like uh, if i really want to straight away now there are you know 400 lines that you have 400 pages that you have in your document how you will navigate right so i want to go to the topic that is what are temp templates so i can simply click the control key the moment i click the control key what happens is that the mouse turns into a hand icon can you see this okay it turns into a hand icon and then press the control key and then click on what are template the moment i click over here i will be navigated to that particular topic that what are templates okay so this is very very useful tool then if i click on properties click on first click the control key and then click on properties of object the moment i click you can see the cursor is at that particular topic and then i'll have my content over there right so this is how we can navigate with this particular feature so this is all about the table of contents children and for the question answer part i have already given the chapter uh, the solution for chapter one that was styles in document and for the chapter that is images in how to insert image right so these are the two chapters that i had prepared and uh, the contents are available on my website the link i had already shared on your mobile app please go to the mobile app and to the chapter and you will find the link out there click on that link and you it will navigate i mean it will redirect you to my website and on that website you will find the contents you can uh, those are the notes that you need to prepare for your exam if you prepare those notes it is more than sufficient okay so everything is done and then i'm going to give you the solution for the rest of the two chapters that was the table of contents and before that we had learned about how to create templates right so for templates and for the table of contents also i'm going to upload the contents on my website i will be providing the link of my website in the the school app that you have in the document part okay so you can go over there and you can find that link click on that it will redirect 
it to my website so everything is there on my website children okay so this is what we have today and then on monday we are going to start with spreadsheet so that is a very very interesting topic and uh, the we have some advanced levels uh, that we need to learn in spreadsheet which is very interesting okay so monday we are going to start with spreadsheet that's it for today bye for now